POST stands for Print Online Setup Tool. It's an easy-to-use browser-based app that helps you prepare your prints for ordering or even store them for future use. There's no software to install, it runs entirely in your web browser. While it works best on a desktop, you can still use it on a mobile device, though some features may be limited. Don't be intimidated by the interface, it's actually very simple to use once you've set up your first print. In this walkthrough, we'll give you a quick overview of its features and show you how to use Post to place your print orders with Finerworks. Okay, let's begin. Start by clicking the Order Here button at the top. On a mobile device, this button may be found in the mobile menu. Post will open its file manager which enables you to upload the image from your computer or device. Click New File at the top. There are various ways to provide the image. This includes things like Google Drive and Dropbox. However, for this example, let's select my PC or device. You can select multiple files to upload, but for now, we will choose only one. Now. Choose your file. Once your file has finished uploading, the screen should refresh itself, and you will see the newly added file. Click on it and then click the Use Selected button. We are now ready to choose the options we want for our print. The first step will be to choose the product type. This will give you a drop-down to choose from. If you want to see a more expanded view, click the expansion icon. This will show the product types as a grid, from which you can also select. You may notice a little magnifying glass icon in the corner. Clicking on it will give you additional details about that option. Let's order a frame print on a nice, fine art paper. In that case, let's choose the fine art paper prints option. Now, let's choose a paper type. The watercolor bright white is popular, so let's choose that. The next choice will be the style. How about we add a half inch extra border to help accent the print? After that, we can choose the print size. Hmm, what would be a good match based on the aspect of the image? A 12 by 8 inch print should do. Actually, since we can customize the size on this type of product, why don't we change it to 11 by 8 instead? That might be a better match. We have some other options we can choose, but let's go to the framing section. Of course, framing is optional, and you could stop right there, but let's take a look at how easy it is to frame your print. We will just choose something basic and modern, like the standard black. I think matting will complement it. So let's choose a nice green mat. Oh, and let's not forget to add glazing. This is the acrylic glass. It, too, is optional, but it will help keep the print protected. I think that's it. Before we finish, let's look at a few other things. The rotate button can rotate your print, but I think we will keep it as it was. There is also a crop and positioning button. You can also click on the image to get similar buttons. How about we check out the crop or positioning tool? This opens a simple screen where we can make some adjustments. At the bottom are some details about the image as it pertains to the print size we have chosen. This includes the actual width and height of the image in relation to the print size, as well as the PPI, or pixels per inch. We can drag the image to reposition it. We can also adjust the scaling if we want to. Once we are satisfied, we can save the changes. Great! Now I think we are ready to add it to the cart and check out. Before we end, it should be mentioned, Different product types may have different sorts of options, but you should see a similar pattern with the workflow. But if something does not make sense or appears off, let our friendly customer service staff know, and we will help you work through the issue. Thanks for watching.